Never before in history have we been so forewarned of the dangers that await us if we don't change the way we live. So far the world has been looking at undernutrition as well as overweight and obesity as very distinct entities in a very polarized way. We now recognize that they are continuity of the same problem and which is inappropriate nutrition. And we recognize now that food systems are very important for both, both in terms of the kind of food that's available and the quantity of food that's available. In the 20th century, I think the preoccupation was how best to increase food supply in terms of production and use of technology for that purpose. So we actually industrialized agriculture substantially, whether it is the grain production or livestock. In every area, we use technology to advance, increase productivity. Uh, but we have now started recognizing, firstly, that it is not just the fact that we produce a lot more, but what we produce is important. What kind of edible oils do we produce? What kind of uh, meat and livestock production should we aim for without depleting natural resources? What kind of uh, carbohydrates that we want people to consume and therefore what kind of foodstuffs should we produce for that? All of those become important. But the consumption patterns are also becoming important, not merely because of their effect on nutrition, especially overweight and obesity, but also what it is doing to agricultural systems as well as the ecosystems. Because if we are now undertaking unsustainable consumption patterns, then we are likely to not only have a reduction in the quantity of production, but also destroy the environment in an irreparable fashion. When we are looking for increased productivity, even in this century, to feed the increasing number of human population, then we must not waste arable land on producing a crop that kills. It is unpardonable that 4.1 million hectares of land which could have been used for growing nutrient crops is now being used for tobacco cultivation. We ought to now utilize that land for crops that will actually be for better nutrition. Never before in history have we been so forewarned of the dangers that await us if we don't change the way we live. But never again in human history have we been so forearmed with the knowledge of how we can change the world and prevent the dangers that await us, avert the dangers that await us. So it is a challenge to human intellect and enterprise as to how best we can utilize that knowledge in order to change the world to become a better world and ensure a future for healthy nutrition in the framework of sustainable development.